Hey troops, welcome to the channel Gen Dick Commando. My name is Ryan, and as I've mentioned many times before, a former Royal Marines Commando. And today we're going to be reacting to the final part of the United States Special Forces Army Ranger selection process. Now, the candidates have already been given their pass or fails. But this video, I'm not too sure what it's going to be. Maybe it's post-conclusions, their thoughts and feelings and stuff like that. But it's going to be really good. It's only a short one, this, so bear with it, guys. We're going to talk a little bit about it. But before we do get into it, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. All right, it really does help me out. Hopefully, at the time of this, I don't know if um, if we're getting there yet. I'm not too sure. We're on. We're near 100,000 subscribers when I was recording this, so hopefully we'll have surpassed that by now. If I if we have surpassed it, I'll have done a couple of videos before that. Anyways, mention it. But I just want to say one thing, guys. Thank you for stopping by. This United States um, documentary series thing has been fantastic. I've really really enjoyed it. Um, I've only ever done this on a series, a couple of series before, and they've all been Swedish content, and they were fantastic. This is on par with those series, so I've really enjoyed it, Truce. But anyway, let's just get straight into this one. I hope you enjoy. Kept thinking about walking to my son, walking to my wife, you know, finishing it out strong, and um, getting selected, moving on out of here. It's a big dream. I've wanted to do this for a long time. I'm glad I finally came on and did it. I got selected. I'm pretty yeah, happy. Buddy. All right, now I'm just thinking about going back home, sleeping in bed, getting into a hot shower. <laughs> but I'm not showering. I was about 20 other dudes. Oh, I'm excited, especially from yesterday when they had me come down here for the board. And then right after chow, they said, uh, the board's over. And all, I, I thought about it all night, so I'm really excited. It's the best day of my life, I think. Hey, there's Pee Wee Herman with his shades on there. Just goes to show you can't judge a book by its cover. This guy has made it, yeah? Amongst all of the things that he's probably went through in life, he's passed U.S. Special Forces assessment and selection. Good on him. Can, couldn't be more happy. The Green Beret is a dream for anybody who wants to be a Special Forces soldier. Uh, the Green Beret, and because I've got a green screen, you might not see this. But you see the outline of it. It's my Green Beret right there. Yeah, you can't see it because of the green screen. But I and my Royal Marines Commando Green Beret, and we we share a special brotherhood. All people who earn the Green Beret the hard way, whether it's in Britain or United States, it's um, you know, it's a it's a great feeling, guys. I'll never forget the day that I got awarded my coveted Green Beret. Um, and I got it at the end of the 30 miler, which in actual fact wasn't the hardest commando test for me. It, it call, it's a combination of, of all your training and all your heart that you've ever put into anything is what yeah. that means to us. You didn't make it. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. You were not selected. Most of the soldiers not selected are given the chance to try again. But this is the last two-week class. The Special Forces are adding another week to the selection process. Three weeks in hell. Oh, my God. <laughs> Imagine being told you're failing, but if you want to come back, you can, but it's three weeks. Hey, if you want it bad enough, that three weeks will be nothing to you. Question to you guys. Would you go back if you'd done this and failed? It's tough, man, but you got to hold your head up. I made it to the end, so I know I can bust my ass if I get another chance to do it, so... As soon as I have my opportunity, I'm back here. Good Team on, four suffered heavy losses. Five out of 16 candidates didn't make it. It's not uncommon for a man to try selection three or four times before he makes it. For most, this is the greatest accomplishment of their lives. It's impressive, man. Congratulate each other and kiss each other's asses later. Get in formation, listen up for your roster number. We have other things we need to do today. <laughs> yeah, I love the military. It's like, look, kiss each other later, kiss each other's asses later. We've got stuff to do. It's like, oh man, come on, give the guys a break, you know? But they're not going <laughs> to. I, lo I, lo I love and hate the military at the same time. Do not get your Green Berets today. Do not forget that. 110 have been selected. But the only thing they've achieved is the right to start training. Less than 25% of those who try out earn the Green Beret. The specialized training takes over a year, and the physical and mental demands dramatically increase. But they will emerge as the world's most highly trained 
unconventional soldiers. I have a long way to go till I get through Green Bray. And it's gonna be just as demanding as this. You gotta make sure I keep my head where it needs to be and go all the way. Years from now, a person from this selection class will be the right man in the right place at the critical moment. He will succeed. He is a Green Beret. Wow. Fantastic, guys. That was a brilliant, brilliant series documentary. I really, really love that, guys. I'm not going to not gonna talk too much more about it, all right? I really enjoyed it. I hope you guys did too. If you share this video as far as you can, like it, subscribe to the channel, drop comments below, and yeah, let's just create a bit of hype behind it because this has been brilliant. If you want me to do another kind of documentary reaction to the military like this, then let me know, guys, okay? At least I can speak from experience. I'm not just a random reactor. There's plenty of... Um, I've noticed plenty of civilian people reacting to military content and um it's interesting to see how much they don't really really know about it but you know i'm I'm speaking from the heart when i when i react to these documentaries and from experience as well which is um i think it's quite unique so if you like it guys like share and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video troops thanks for stopping by